The American Welding Society has so much to offer the welding community. One thing that they do that I really love is their careers in welding trailer. This thing is the slickest rig on the road. Let's take a look at what they got inside. You might notice that we've got a bunch of virtual reality going on behind us and they're so focused in. AWS is letting them get hands-on training, seeing if welding is for them. They're getting the feel for it. And these virtual reality welding machines do just that. If you get top score, you get a nice thousand dollar scholarship and that's pretty sweet. They're always giving back to their student community and it's super important to get involved with your chapter, your local area. Anything is AWS has to offer, man, you really should be looking into it. The AWS assistant in the trailer gave me the rundown of how this machine works and all the tricks and tips that you need to figure out how to get the best score. I thought I did pretty all right until I saw my score. Mmm, sucker so slick it fell right off. <laughs> Look at that, it's all over the freaking place. I got a 65. I am a below average welder. How many years have you been doing this? 15. <laughs> It's almost like you know it's too much. And you're like, yeah. nah, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about, robot. <laughs> Tons of opportunity at the AWS. Yeah. Skills USA is one of their partners where they go in and they really help educate the students and becoming professional welders, as well as professional development hours to help train them in other parts of the field in this industry, like non-destructive testing, inspection, and a lot of other things. Now, AWS, they want to inspire the next generation. One other thing that people don't always understand is there's so much to welding, and you could go just about anywhere in this industry, whether it be a pipeliner, whether it be new construction, power plants, tube welder, or you want to be a fabricator, or you want to be an artist, you want to, there's just so many different ways that you can go about it, and there's a lot of resources at the AWS website, as well as free student memberships these days. We've got a couple really cool people on this wall, including little old me. It's really cool stuff. And you guys really should check out what AWS has to offer. Enough with the virtual reality. Just outside the trailer, they had a little competition going on at the expo. A little 3F, 4F, and 2F on these pieces of angle iron. There it is. We're all geared up, ready to roll. The AWS instructors there got us all set up with the PPE we needed so that we can get started right away. We had to put our coupons up in the overhead-ish position and then used a 332 418 7018, got to select our amperage and we had five minutes to complete this weld with chipping hammers and a wire brush only. Let's we'll see uh, Bo put his money where his mouth is here. How are you going? Hey, I'll give you some advice. Don't suck. Of course, Chris and I had to give our hand at it. We weren't going to let Bo have all the fun. I don't remember the last time I even put leathers on, but I opted for the 332 electrode and Chris went before the 18. Even our marketing manager, Monica, she got her hand in it. She looks like a duck walking around in all these leathers, but she's suited up, ready to weld, and she got to this stick rod like a pro for her very first time, ripping and tearing around this coupon. She's even wrapping the corners like she knew what she was doing, but she's just moving way super fast. Whether you were a professional, semi-pro, or a newbie, this was for everybody. We had a great time and we were all really proud of Monica for her first time stick welding. Probably not as proud as this guy though who ended up winning the welding competition and 1200 bucks. American Welding Society has so much going on and all you got to do is go check out their website at aws.org.